Hello, world! Welcome to part two of this mini series on orbital maneuvers. In today's episode, let's talk about maneuver nodes and what they do. Among other great additions in Kerbal Space Program Point 18 was the Maneuver Node system. It allows you to plan maneuvers ahead of time without using any fuel. To set up Maneuver Node, just click on any point in your orbit and say Add Maneuver Node. You will then see the Maneuver Node setup come up, a little ball with six different markers sticking out. These different markers each indicate a direction. If you drag any of these markers, the Maneuver Node will show what effect it will have on your orbit if you burn in that direction. These six directions are all important and will all have different effects on your orbit. The first is prograde, indicated by this green-yellow circle. This is the direction your ship is currently traveling in. If you burn in this direction, you will gain horizontal velocity at this point in your orbit, which will raise the altitude of the opposite side of your orbit. The next is retrograde, indicated by the yellow-green X. This is the opposite direction of prograde, and if you burn in this direction, it will have the opposite effects. Your ship loses horizontal velocity, and the altitude of the opposite side of your orbit will drop. The next two points are normal and anti-normal. If you think of your right hand curling in the direction of your orbit, normal is the direction your thumb sticks out, and anti-normal is the opposite direction. On the maneuver node, they're indicated by the purple triangle and the purple X, respectively. Burning in either of these directions will change the inclination of your orbit from the current point. It's important to note that as you burn normal or anti-normal, and the inclination of your orbit changes, in turn, the direction that is normal and anti-normal will change. You should keep this in mind if you're performing a burn, because you'll end up burning a little bit prograde or retrograde as well, and it'll screw up your orbit. The final two directions are radial and anti-radial, as indicated by the blue circles. Radial means away from the parent body, and anti-radial is towards the parent body. Burning radial and anti-radial changes the eccentricity of your orbit, as well as moves the longitude of the perihelion. It's a weird effect, and you won't use this one as often. Finally, there's a fourth direction in which you can move the maneuver node. Time. You can click and drag the maneuver node along your orbit to change where and when the burn will occur. This is especially useful when you're trying to reach a particular target, either a planet, moon, or another spacecraft. Remember, you can also stack maneuvers. In other words, add a maneuver onto a target orbit. This allows you to, for example, change the inclination of your orbit, and then raise the altitude. You can stack as many maneuver nodes as you want. In the next episode, I'll talk about some basic maneuvers we can now do, now that we've learned so much about orbits and maneuver nodes. But, until then, I will see you out there.